Great day to be a Rebel. Um, it's exciting to be able to start, um, you know, the regional off, game number one, um, throwing the first punch and continue to punch in those first couple of innings. And um, we put the pedal down and kept going and didn't stop. And we talked about that in our scouting report meeting. I mean, I'm proud of what these girls accomplished today and um, swinging the bats as well as Finney shutting the door um, for the three innings that she pitched. Mike, looks like you guys are really for the opener, is that, uh, is that what you saw? I mean, it felt like they already made them pay for some mistakes early. Yeah, um, we know that the last week and a half to two weeks of the season was very uncharacteristic of the way we played the entire year. And I think a lot of people were doubting us a little bit. Um, and so I think we just kind of, I think that was kind of a statement game for us. And these girls proved that we deserve to be an 11 seed. We deserve to go out there and swing the bats and pitch and, um, you know, we're going to make those teams pay for those mistakes, and that's exactly what they did tonight, and I'm proud of them. Mike, you were able to get Brittany out after three innings tonight. How important could that be moving ahead? Yeah, it's going to be huge. Um, you know, Molly's going to go tomorrow against UL, and, um, you know, you never know how deep we, we end up having to go into this thing, um, especially – you know, the weather a little bit, even though it got a little bit cooler at night, it's still a little humid and hot. And so um, the less energy that she needs to, to exert out there is better for us um, down the stretch. Along those same lines, getting Ava out there on this stage tonight, I mean, could that play big later on in this tournament that you have to use her? Yeah, absolutely. We talked about it early on about trying to get her some postseason um, experience too. And that was one thing. Um, which was huge for our offense to be able to put up those numbers like that um, to get Ava out there just to give her an opportunity to feel comfortable about going out there and just making good pitches, throwing strikes, and, and giving us an opportunity to continue to keep the game the way it was. Kaylee, did you guys uh, feel the doubt that uh, Coach Smith was talking about? Um, I feel like we did because during the, um, like the bracket thing when it was going out, we didn't expect to be that high. Like we didn't even expect we were expected to be 15, 16, or even a number two seed. So I feel like this is an amazing opportunity that we have to be 11 seed. Was it a little bit of a relief to get off to that fast start and play well early? Yes, it was. I just know that we were playing Ole Miss softball, so we just need to keep it like that. Were you going up there expecting to swing for a pitch and get where you did? Um, yes, I was. <laughs> 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 Colin told me that she was throwing back door, so I was getting ready for it because me and Colin have like a game plan going on before, and so she was throwing first pitch strikes, so we had a game plan for it. Brittany, how do you feel after three inning out? You know, I feel incredible. Like, as soon as I went out there, you know, I was a little nervous. Obviously, it's a huge tournament, you know, big deal. All these games matter, like Coach said. And then I saw my team put up those runs, and I absolutely just relaxed. You know, like, my team has my back so much, and I just feel so good when they go up there and just absolutely crush the ball like they did. Amanda, you had a big night at the plate tonight. Just talk about what you were seeing. Um, well, I was getting down on the count, so I knew that I really just had to work back up the middle, and it ended up paying off, and I ended up getting three RBIs, so it was a good night for sure. Mike, uh, the bottom half of the order was really solid. You know, the top half was able to get on base, and the bottom half did their job. I mean, is that one of the more productive outings you've seen in the bottom half? Yeah, it really was. Um, I think that's part of where we've struggled a little bit, especially later on in the year. Um, where we'd get our, we'd get the top of the lineup on base and we were struggling a little bit down at the bottom and um, we moved Tate up a little bit more in the lineup one spot in the lineup because she's been really a good contact and she produced tonight moved Manda just so she can see some better pitches um, and it helped out and of course um, Kaylee Horton was batting really in the six seven spot early on in the year we moved her up to that five spot there just because she's a really good contact hitter and doesn't really strike out a whole bunch, and so we wanted to be able to give her some more RBI production in that in that situation. Were you able to watch Lafayette in the first game? I was. What were your impressions? Uh, they swing the bats. They're very aggressive at the plate. Um, they're very aggressive on the bases. Um, they're looking to take two bags right out of the box. Um, their pitcher. She throws the ball well. She's got over 200 and something innings. She she does predominantly most of their pitching. Um, so I, we're going to assume that, that that's who we're going to face tomorrow. Um, you know, drop ball, rise ball. Um, she does have a little bit of a change up. So, um, you know, we know we're going to be in for a dogfight. I mean, she's thrown a lot of innings. Um, it's a 12 o'clock game. So we'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully it's not as warm as it was today, but you just never know. Um, but we're excited about giving ourselves an opportunity to be at home and to play UL um, in the winner's bracket. Kaylee, talk about 
talk a little bit about moving up in the lineup. That's your second game of the season with three RBIs. It's like your fifth three-hit game. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about that. Um, being in the five spot, um, I feel like I just have to be more focused, especially with runners on. So I need to do my job of moving the runners over, getting, uh, getting them in scoring position, or driving them in. So I just want to do whatever to help my team out. So, Mike, the decision to pitch Molly tomorrow against Louisiana, I, is there some, some reasoning, obviously some reasoning behind that? What is it? No, not really. I mean, when we talked about it as a staff, um, we kind of took the philosophy, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, Finney's been going game one for us, and Molly's been going game two, and then we kind of make that decision for game three, and that's kind of how it's been all year. And um, probably more than anything, Molly's probably a little bit better matchup just because of the changeup, because of how aggressive they are, and not saying that Finney doesn't have a good changeup. Um, but I think that you know Molly may uh, be able to keep them a little bit more off balance with some of the pitchers, and from the left side, they probably don't see a lot of those left-handed pitchers. So, um, but you know, it gives us an opportunity. We're probably going to see UL at some point again, and so I'm sure Finney will get the ball at some point. Any other questions? Really enjoying all that. You know, obviously when the bracket came out, everyone almost expected this matchup between you and Lafayette with a. 50 win team. What are your thoughts going in with, with the team going into your matchup like that? Um, going into today's game? Or tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Um, you know, I think I expected to pitch today. You know, I think just like Coach said, you know, we've been doing this all year, so that's great. And then I think um, with Molly going out, you know, her and I had lunch the other day and we talked and we were like, we're ready. You know, together as a staff, working off each other, we are so ready. So I'm so excited for her to do that. Um, and then with the team, I think we just need to come out and play like we did today. You know, come out, score first, score early, score often, everything like that, and play solid D. Because I think, honestly, all around today, we just played an incredible game. And I think if we come out and do that, we'll have success. And obviously, with your postseason experience, how important is it to get off to a start like this? Man, this is huge. Coming out and especially um, winning like we did, winning so big, it was incredible. I think we all have so much confidence going into tomorrow, and it just puts us in a great place to play.